Hi everyone, this is Miss Segovia and I'm going to show you how to make the leaf foldable for your notebook. So my notebook this year, we're going to be doing it on page 38, which is the left side, because on the right side, we're going to be putting some notes later. So to make this, you need two documents. One is the green printed out leaf, and the other is the one with the arrows. So before you cut these out, I recommend you just go ahead and color them all different colors, because it'll look a lot prettier in the final one, including your stomata and your chloroplasts. So to start with, we will begin with our great big beautiful leaf. Before you glue this guy down, there's a line right here that you need to do a little cutting. So what I find easiest is if you fold it and then take your scissors and cut along that line. So it's kind of tricky, but not impossible. We just need to create a little opening for our second piece. So now we've got that little open right there. Our second piece is the half leaf with the little tab. So we're going to use this tab and fold it underneath so these two fit into one another. You can see I didn't make it quite big enough. So we're going to trim this just a little more. And slide this one into here. So now my upper leaf lines up, hopefully, with my lower leaf. Let's do a little adjusting here. If you're finding it difficult, don't worry, you're not the only one. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get it together like this. So now I've got a little leaf with a little flap. We're going to glue it into your notebook. This is bothering me. I know it's going to bother some of you too. Uh, glue it into your notebook, but we're only going to glue the big leaf and only the left side of the big leaf, and I'll show you why in a minute. So take my leaf, we'll get glue just on the left side. And I'll need to stick this back in here because it slid out in the process. There we go. And now it goes onto my page like this. So only the left side's glued, the right side's free, and we have a little flap in between. So the next part is to go ahead and put a couple key pieces on. One is the chloroplast. And so the chloroplast is this cool little guy right here. And we are going to put him on the underside of this leaf to show that chloroplasts are located in the middle of the leaf. And so that way when we close the flap, the chloroplast will remain hidden from sight. So I'm going to put my chloroplast right here. And then the other thing is the stomata. And you have two stomata that you colored and cut out. Stomata are typically found on the underside of leaves, which is why you left part of your leaf loose. So we're going to put them underneath the leaf. So we'll have one up here. Helps if I do the little glue first. Put a little spot of glue there for the other guy. So I'm going to put a stomata here on the underside of the leaf and a stomata here on the other side of the leaf. So now I've got my major parts. Finally, we're going to stick the arrows on. So let's talk a little bit about what each arrow is and where is it going to go. So the first arrow we're going to do is the arrow for water. Water enters the plant through the roots and moves upward to the leaf. So on my leaf, I'm going to put my water arrow showing where water goes in my plant. So it's going to go from the roots up to the leaves. So let's go ahead and glue that arrow into place. Second, we got to talk about plants all get their energy from sunshine. So sunlight strikes surface of the leaf. So where's the surface of the leaf? It's the top of the leaf. So we're going to put our surface arrow onto the top. So you could put it on the top right or the top left, whichever. I like to put it on the side because then it can float and look all cool later on. So the sun strikes the surface of our leaf. We also have another key ingredient for photosynthesis, and that is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, ugh, carbon dioxide enters the leaf through the openings called stomata. Stomata, weren't those the little things that we just glued onto the back side of our leaf? Why, yes they are. So we're going to put this arrow on the underside of our leaf, showing that carbon dioxide is coming in through the stomata. So put a little glue down here. And my stomata arrow right here. So what's happening during this whole process? 
we've left out a key organelle and that is our little chloroplast that we just glued in a moment ago. So what's happening in the chloroplast? Well, the chloroplast is producing sugars. So let's look at this arrow. Sugars produced in chloroplasts are used by the plant cells for energy. So this arrow is going to be pointing to our chloroplast, which is in the middle of our plant cell. So I'm going to put a little glue right here for my sugar arrow, showing the job of my chloroplasts. And we've got one arrow left, which is the oxygen arrow. Oxygen exits through stomata on the underside of the leaf. So the underside of our leaf, again, was that right side that we left open. And what's underneath the leaf? Stomata! So our stomata is allowing oxygen to escape as a byproduct of photosynthesis. So my oxygen arrow is going to go here. I'm going to put it right there. It'll also help hold my leaf in place a little bit. And we can put a little bend in that so it lays down nicely. So there you have it. Water comes in through the bottom of the plant. Sunlight strikes the surface. And we also have carbon dioxide entering through the openings called stomata. That process triggers photosynthesis, which lets sugars be produced in chloroplasts for plants to use for energy. And finally, we'll have oxygen exiting the stomata on the underleaf, underside of the leaf. And that is the very, very basis of photosynthesis and how to make the leaf foldable. Thank you.